What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Cardi, and in today's video, man, I will be showing y'all the best dribble moves for Season 7 of NBA 2K23. Now, before we get into this video, make sure y'all boys drop a like on the video, obviously. If you don't drop a like, man, then I'm gonna have to beat the limit, okay? That got a little violent, so we're just gonna move on. We're just gonna act like you dropped a like. Or I'm gonna have to send Ronnie 2K's grandmother to your crib and start putting the fucking hands on you and i don't think you want a two-piece combo from ronnie 2k's grandmother just because you didn't drop like i right? so drop like on the video subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications if you have not already all right so look i'm gonna run some clips in the background okay i'm just gonna be honest with you all right i'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it a buck okay i'm good as hell at this game all right i don't do all the steezo Dribble, 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 dribble. I don't do none of that, okay? I do dribble a fair amount, okay? I will say I do dribble a fair amount, but um, I'm more. I like to use effective dribble moves. I like to be more simplistic. Now I got a friend. You know, most of y'all know him. He's a very, very big YouTuber. His name is Solo. Okay, that motherfucker likes to sit there and dribble like he's got a gun to his head, okay? And they're saying if you don't dribble faster than the speed of light, then you're getting shot, okay? And that's not me. I like to just score the ball. I like to just be effective and score the ball, okay? Sometimes if I have takeover, obviously if I have ankle breaking takeover, I'll do some extra shit just to try to, you know, get a crazy clip. But that's not how I dribble most of the time. Sometimes people are just so extra. That's not me, okay? But in my opinion, I think I have the best dribble moves in NBA 2K23 for small guards, tall guards, centers doesn't matter okay whatever your ball handle is i got you okay this move doesn't matter if you're on current gen or next gen it literally doesn't matter okay if you're on current gen next gen i promise you the game plays the same that's not something you have to worry about okay so yeah there's a couple things i want to get into before we get into the video okay there's going to be settings there's going to be badges and then we'll get into the drip moves and at the end of the video i will show you all the drip moves that i will be talking about uh, i'll go to the gator facility and give you all a little quick dribble tutorial okay Get this video to 500 likes and I will drop a in-depth, advanced, all the combos with a hand cam. All right, right now at the end of this video, there will be no hand cam, but I like to say that I'm not an idiot, that I have a brain, that I am able to form words and speak them through my mouth pretty well. So um, I'll be able to, you know, give you a solid dribble tutorial without even having to show you a hand cam. I think I'm capable of doing that. I've been doing YouTube for about two years and I've probably done probably fucking 50 dribble tutorials since I started. So... I think that I'll be fine to give y'all a dribble tutorial, okay? So, drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications, I love y'all boys, I'm moving in with Henry, aka Double H and Solo, um, and this boy named Chad, he used to be a YouTuber, you know, he is, he's on to bigger and better things in real life, he doesn't want to do YouTube anymore, and it's okay, I don't blame him, the game's fucking ass sometimes, but um, um, yeah, let's get right into it, alright? Now, the first thing we gotta go over if you wanna dribble good. Now, I'm just gonna make this quick and simple. I'm not gonna sit here and waste your time. I'm trying to be, you know, sped up. Cause a lot of you comments say, oh, bro, this is a fucking one minute video turned into eight hours, bro. If you don't take your fucking TikTok, TikTok brain, dopamine receptors are fried to oblivion, okay? Some of y'all's dopamine receptors are so bad, you need to go. You could even sit in your room for 30 minutes, no electronics, just in pure sunlight, or just go sit outside and do nothing but think and just be bored. Some of y'all are so, some of y'all are so messed up in your brain from TikTok that a 10 minute video is too long for you to watch. I'm like, yo, like it's really hard to compete with these TikTokers nowadays because it's like, y'all boys want the information now. And if it ain't now and you gotta sit here and listen to somebody talk for a second, you really to fucking kill their whole family over that shit. I'm like, bro, relax, okay, relax. So you're gonna get the best insight from listening to somebody that's been playing the game since 2K14. Literally, I've been playing since 2K11, really, but Park since 2K14. So, listen to your boy. When I'm telling you I know what I'm doing, I'm not some old head that's out of touch that dribbles like it's my grandpa on the sticks, okay? It's not your grandpa on your sticks. This is like your sister's older boyfriend that whoops your ass in every single video game you play, and you're like, yo, this motherfucker is good. This motherfucker don't miss. That's me, okay? So, if you want to start whooping your sister's boyfriend's ass, and you want to be like, nah, I'm him now. I'm the man of the house now. You got to watch this 10-minute video and not bitch about it, okay? Watch the 10-minute video, stop crying, I right, that's it. Now, let's make this quick and simple, okay? Controller settings, okay, motherfucker? pro -sick orientation. If you do not use pro -sick orientation absolute, I mean, you're either 75 years old with one eyeball or you are on the spectrum. With all due respect, I'm not trying to be mean, okay? I love all people, okay? But you are... If you use cam relative, my boy... GG. 
<laughs> you're not winning a game. If you win a game on Kim Relative, I'll pay you 20 bucks. Send me a Twitter proof video that you want a video or you want a game on Camera Relative Pro Suit Orientation, and I will pay you 20 motherfucking dollars. Because that ain't no way. Because literally, no, if you're on the left side of the court, you have to move your right stick differently to do the same move at the top of the key and at the right side of the wing or the right side of the court. It's so stupid. You Wherever you are on the court, wherever your fucking camera angle is, you want it to be the same move. If you want to do a step back, you should flick the right stick down, period. No matter where you are on the court. Okay, so pro stick orientation, absolute. That's all you need it for. Pro stick uh, function, I see a lot of people put it on dribble moves. Do not. It literally... Uh, if, you got, if I can just put into a nutshell how bad this game is, how bad 2K is as a company. Pro stick function, if you put it on dribble moves, it takes away some of your dribble moves. You can no longer do hop jumpers. You can no longer do hop shots. Hop shots and, you know, still dribbling with the right stick. Um, if you... It's just... This game, man. I don't really know what to say. This game sucks. Okay. Pro stick function needs to be on default. Okay. Nothing else default. That's it for the settings. I right, Now, before we get into the badges, I would like to go over something very, very important. I think something that is very, very important. Okay. This is outside the game thing. This is something that if you, it's not something in the game that you can control. But I play with a monitor, one millisecond response time. And I also play with a wired controller. And I also play with wired internet. If you do not have those things then it's going to be very, very hard for you to compete with people that do have those things, in my opinion. Now, I used to play on a 70-inch TV. I tell this story all the time. I was very good in 2K17 on a 70-inch TV. I did not play um, until 2K20, and I came back to 2K20, and then I played on a TV, and I was like, yo, I can't hit a shot. I can't do anything. What is going on? And they were like, yo, bro, why do you play? I like sent my friend a Snapchat of me like hooping. They're like, yo, why do you play on that big-ass TV? Is it not delayed? And I switched to a monitor instantly i got better instantly it was like night and day compared to the to the to the what i was doing before i mean i'd be in stage shooting early from the corner i'm like i time that the same i time every single green i've ever shot in my life i'm it's not me it was the 70 inch fucking flat screen movie screen i was playing on because 2k17 i don't think latency was as big of a deal um to be honest i really i think that it's really like came a long way in the way that this game is processed and i think that it has more of an issue now it's more important now than it ever was so one millisecond response time monitor a wired controller will uh, that will all de uh, decrease your input delay your input lag your delay your, de your latency all those things in a wired internet okay now the next thing i'd like to recommend this is inside the game for dribbling is this right here. You need to do your workout. If you do not already have gym rat like I do, you need to do your workout. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you my boosts. Okay, all those boosts I didn't buy. Okay, first of all, oh my God, it makes me so mad. First of all, my jump shot boosts I buy every single time. I need 100 jump shot boosts no matter what. I'll go ahead and buy some right now. I right, go ahead and buy some of them jump shot boosts right now because we don't go anywhere without 99 jump shot boosts. You got to have 99 on me at all times. Now, I won an event for unlimited layup and dunk boosts five times. So I deserved five unlimited layup and dunk boosts, five sets of unlimited boosts. I should have been able to put it to other things. And 2K still took my unlimited boosts away. I don't know why. I don't know what the what is wrong with them, why they would do that. Like, I don't know. The game is just so dumb. It genuinely, it genuinely hurts my brain how stupid these idiots are at 2K. I comment down below if you would actually roundhouse kick Mike Wang in the neck, okay? Let me know. Mike Wang is the gameplay developer. He's the one that makes gameplay if you don't know that. I, But yeah, so I don't buy any of these boosts. I just basically won these boosts from the wheel, from events I've played, from different things, from um, uh, season rewards, different things, okay? Um, this is where I've won my boost, okay? So I would not buy any boost, but jump shot boost, I just want to say that. But I have my gym rat. That will give me a plus four to all my physicals on this build. That's very important. I have a 75 speed. Acceleration it's one, is what is going to um, affect your dribbling. Acceleration, speed with ball, and ball handle, okay? So you want the ball handle 89 for Hall of Fame quick first step. Um, sometimes you want it differently. I'll tell you if you're a small guard, tall guard, I'll give you all that explanation. Um, then we got speed with ball. It's for the Michael Jordan dribble style, of course. And then acceleration. We always max our acceleration because that's what has to do with dribbling, not speed. Speed is more of defense and lateral quickness and stuff like that, uh, running up and down the court. Um, but yeah, all right. So look, now we're going to get into the drip moves, okay? I'm going to explain all the drip moves for every single build so you don't have to worry about that. And then we're going to go into the Gatorade facility and I'm going to show y'all boys exactly what to do and how to use drip moves, okay? Now let's get into it. All right, boys, let's start off this video, okay? Now look, obviously, as you can see, um i have right here all the dribble moves okay all of the dribble moves this is not the dribble moves that i use this is not the dribble move 
that you're going to want to screenshot and copy down. I'm not going to let you do that. You're going to have to watch the video. You're not going to be able to just screenshot a screen and get all my drip moves. I'm just going to be honest. You got to drop a like. You got to run the watch time up. You got to comment. You got to say, I love you, Acardi. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay? Period. Okay, so let's go ahead and look. Okay? Show all... Dri so, sorry, let me see. Let me see. So the animation store. Look. Okay, so this is all the dribble styles in the game. I all the dribble styles in the game I there's a new dribble style that came out um, John Stockton but it is not that good in my opinion okay John Stockton I know people liked it in previous 2k's it's not good this year it's not first of all you have to be under 6'5 with a 75 ball handle in my opinion the best one in the game is Michael Jordan okay so go with Michael Jordan all right now for signature size ups these are all the signature size ups in the games now in previous um, videos I've also told you about different signature size ups um, I like Tracy McGrady like Dwayne Wade um, I've used Dwayne Wade and Tracy McGrady basically all year. Here's one of the new ones, Mati Kazorla. I mean, this motherfucker's dribble style is, or, or signature size up is up there. I mean, it's terrible. Do not use this. If you use this, you actually have problems. I'm kidding. Okay, Steph Curry, Baron Davis, those are not the ones I would use. Um, signature size up, Paul George, Darius Garland, no, 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 none of these. Kyrie Irving, Allen Iverson, no, no, no. Do not want to use any of these if you're a small guard. What I'd recommend is something like donovan mitchell or Dwayne wade okay donovan mitchell is the new one that came out that's pretty good this john wall one's not that good um also trey young is the one of the size up six or size ups that people use um but i wouldn't really recommend it i'd probably even use steve francis i'd probably say trey young or steve francis are the two best for small guards if you're a tall guard i would go donovan mitchell this one just dropped it's solid it has the kevin durant step back from the uh or not the Kevin Durant step back. Has a good behind the back. Not the Kevin Durant step back. That's a different move. Um, but um, if this is something that you like, I would use this one as a good behind the back um, that you can spam. Tracy McGrady is also good. Then um, the one I've been using for the longest time, though, is Dwayne Wade. I don't know where that's at. I can't even find it. Um, I don't know where it is. Dwayne Wade. But Steve Francis is a good one to use as well you have to be under 6'5 have to at least have at least 85 ball handle steve francis is good steve francis or trey young for small guards dwayne wade tracy mcgrady or donovan mitchell for tall guards you can pick try out each one um i'd recommend donovan mitchell if you want a fast pound the back um d wade is the one i've been using for a while it's very very good too but for me i gonna be going d wade you can use donovan mitchell the new one it's very good you can try that out let me know what you think um but yeah if you're a small guard definitely trust steve francis or tracy or not tracy mcgrady trey young now, for your size of a skate package, okay, if you're a small guard, I'd probably go Trey Young. Obviously, this is just the best one. You have to have a 92 ball handle. You have to be under 6'10", okay? It's impossible to get a 92 ball handle to um, get this if if you are um, too tall. So, if you're 6'10", I don't think you're going to be able to get a 92 ball handle as it is. But, um, Kimball Walker is the new one that dropped that's pretty good, okay? This is just like Kevin Durant where you get that big step back, but the crab animation is better. So, in my opinion, if I'm you, I'd probably go with... Um, the Kimball Walker one, but that's completely personal preference. If you want to use Kimball Walker over Kevin Durant, that's completely up to you. But in the video, I'm going to be using Kevin Durant at the dribble tutorial, and I'm also going to be using, um, like I said, for the signature size up, I'll be using Dwayne Wade. So um, I think Kimball Walker is very good. Some my friend Solo put me onto this move. But if you don't like it, that's completely personal preference up to you. All right, so try them both out if you want. But for me, I'll be using Kevin Durant for small guards, Trey Young, obviously, okay? Now, for your moving crossover, okay? Moving crossover is not the most important move in the, in the world. I don't really use it that much. Um, I use Russell Westbrook or James Harden, okay? My opinion is Russell Westbrook's better. You use James Harden if you want. I also like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's solid. Um, but for a small guard, you could go even with Kyrie Irving, Damian Lillard. But these require higher ball handles. Like I said, Trey Young even requires a higher one. Um, but these are all good standstill moves. I'd probably recommend Trey Young if you're going to be using a moving crossover in your small guard. Allen Iverson is the new one that uh, dropped this just this season. Allen Iverson has a good crossover, but it's not too deadly. It's not anything crazy. In my opinion, I think the one that I'm going to stick with is Russell Westbrook. That's the one I'm going to use in the video, so I'm going to go with Russell Westbrook. Now, for the moving behind the back, I always get hate from my behind the back, but I use Allen Iverson, okay? I think it's just the best one. Now, if you accidentally do it into someone, you will turn the ball over, okay? But it does create a lot of space. If you use it properly and you know how to not turn the ball over with it, um, if you, if somebody's right, say there's somebody right there by that MP sign right there, and I hit a behind the back or to the left wing right there, um, if I hit a behind the back into someone, I'm turning the ball over. Now, some of these, you won't turn the ball over when you do it into them. But if they're right in front of you and you do this move, you are going to blow past them. That's why I like it, because I don't dribble into people. I'm not an idiot. But sometimes I do. Sometimes I mess it up. Um, but 
uh, if you trust yourself and you think that you can use this behind the back when it's supposed to be used, then this is the best behind the back, in my opinion. I know some people like Damian Lillard. <clears throat> it's not my favorite. I don't really see um, too much of point of using it. I know my friends like Dame or Steph Curry for small guards. Uh, but I'd probably go Zach Levine if you're going to do a behind the back. Zach Levine solid, as you can see right here. It's a solid behind the back. Um, Allen Iverson is the next best behind the back. Um, it's, but it's like it's very similar to me. They're very, very similar. So Zach Levine or Allen Iverson, it doesn't really matter if you're a tall guard. And then Steph Curry if you're a small guard, okay? Moving spin. This is going to be a very lengthy one. We're going to have a lot to talk about. Okay, it's basic. Move on. It doesn't matter your height. It doesn't matter your ball handle. Basic. It's been the best spin in the game for years. For years. For years. Literally years. Basic spin. Moving hesitation. This does not matter too much, okay? It really, really doesn't. Um, Kyrie Irving is solid, okay, if you want to use this. Scotty Pippen is the new one that came out. In my opinion, I like James Harden or Luka. The one I use right now is Luka, but I don't really use the move of hesitation really at all, so I use Luka Doncic. Moving step back. Now, this one is very, very, very controversial. Okay, so the top three right here is normal, Luka Doncic, and James Harden, okay? Those are the top three in the game, Okay. If you want the Asta slide, which is this move right there, that move right there, you want normal. Okay, if you want the Asta slide, you want normal. If you want this step back right here for Luca, that one, that's Luca. Okay, if you want this snatch back step back, that right there, that's James Harden. My opinion, I think James Harden's the best. I take a lot of ankles on my build. I like to snatch people's ankles like that. And if you have an ankle breaking takeover, ankle breaking dribble moves, ankle breaker, any type of ankle breaking thing on your build, you like to break ankles, use James Harden. Okay. In my opinion, if you're playing my career as well, I use James Harden. This build literally gets open on every AI, every AI in, in my career and wreck. Um, but this really is a good crab animation too. I've crabbed a lot of people using James Harden. Um, but yeah, I use James Harden movement step back. That's the one I will be using in the video. So you could choose you can't go wrong with any, either of these three to be honest those are the best ones in the game it's honestly the most most um diverse group of dribble moves that's like wow you could go you could go right with either three so pick whichever one you want but i'm gonna go with james Harden. all right boys now we're gonna go on the gator facility and i'm gonna basically break down these dribble moves one by one show you exactly what each one is and yeah that's gonna be it for the video i'm gonna tell you exactly how to do it that's gonna be it for the video so look if you um if this has helped you out at all Drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. Reserve a private court, bro. Come on. Drop a like if you're new. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notifications. We're going to be grinding all the rest of the summer. All the rest of 2K24. I'm not going to take no breaks. No four-month break. We're just going to be locked in from day one. All right? Locked in from day one. Going ham. Okay? So make sure y'all boys drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Okay? So where is my court? Okay, it's right here. All right? So the first thing we're going to start off with is the dribble style. That's going to be very, very easy to sew. Then we're going to show you the signature size up. That's just basically like little standstill dribble moves. And then we're going to go move on. Okay. It shouldn't be too hard. This should not be that much of a, you know, anything too hard. Okay. Equip ball. I mean, I'm trying. I'm literally trying. Do I not have a ball? I definitely don't have a ball on this build. I'm so retarded, bro. I'm sorry. All right, boys. Like I said, drop a like. Holy shit. We got to equip a ball because they don't want to give us a fucking my court. How smart is this game? How smart are the people that run this game? We gotta fucking put on a ball. We literally have to put on a ball. Like, what the fuck is wrong with them? Like, genuinely, what is wrong with them? I don't know. Okay, so anyway, here we are. All right, the dribble style is very, very simple, okay? This is the dribble style. You're literally, the, the speed boost that you get out of that animation right there is the dribble style. That's it, okay? That's the dribble style. Um, and there's no really way to show you it just is how fast you get out of the dribble moves like this right here That's how you get that little fast move right there. Um, it's very very simple. Okay Signature size up uh, the one I was showing, telling you D Wade or Tracy McGrady. It's just your dribble moves like this Your little behind the back this type of shit right here um, Where you go like this This move That's all your signature size up. Okay now moving forward on to our Let's see. Size of escape. Okay, this is the Kevin Durant. All right. This is the Kevin Durant. This is this. Okay. All you want to do to get this move right here is hold RT and flick down on the right stick. You get that move right there. And you can leave speed boost out of it. Be real fast. Go straight to the rim. That's what I do. I literally do that step back and run straight at the rim. If somebody's all up in my grill, or say, say you're guarded by AI in the wreck, you go right inside the three point line, step back and smack. Just like that. Super easy to time, super easy to do. Not hard at all to do. You all you have to do is hold the right trigger, hold RT, and flick down on the right stick. Flick down real quick. It'll give you that move. You hold up, you don't have to let go of RT. You just run with the left stick and run straight towards the rim. 
that simple this is really that simple that's all you have to do um but if you use that kimba walker move then you'll be able to hold rt and flick the right stick diagonally to the off ball hand up di diagonally up to the off ball hand or diagonally up to the off ball hand either way and you get that better crab move that's that right there and that's also these moves where you hold rt and so like if i want this move right i hold rt if the ball's my right hand i hold rt flick the right stick diagonally down to the off ball hand and flick the left stick diagonally down to the on ball hand so i right here if i want this move i and the ball's in my right hand i want that move right there all right what i would do sorry let me rewind is i would hold rt flick the right stick diagonally down to the left and flick the left stick diagonally down to the right at the same time all while holding rt and you get this move right here and you can spam it if you get good at it you can literally spam it all right um let's see the next thing that was a little deep holy shit uh the next move i'm going to teach y'all uh, um moving hesitation you don't need that moving spin moving behind the back everyone knows how to do this you literally just hold rt and flick as you're running back or you can just do it standing still too um but as you're running you're gonna run forward and flick the right stick diagonally down into the left of the off plane so if it's in my right hand i'm gonna run i'm gonna flick the, the right stick diagonally down to the left like that i as i'm running this is the behind the back just like that i that's the behind the back it's very simple very easy to do shouldn't be too hard to learn how to do um like i said 500 likes we'll get an advanced dribble tutorial very very advanced if you want um anything i, I really, really stick to the simplest moves bro like little through the legs little stop and go shit like that that's super super easy super super effective the easy stop and go all you have to do is this right here you want as much um adrenaline bars as you have all you want to do is hold rt run then let go of everything and then run again but you just do it faster you see what i'm saying i don't have any stamina so can't really do it right there but that's all you have to do for that now the moving step back that i was talking to you about man where i literally combo up and i do crazy things like this come back oh my goodness come back come here come here man come here come here come welcome to my island come here come here man come here spin back hold on snatch back james harden snatch back again spin back hold on let me spin back again let me snatch him let me snatch him let me snatch him ankles uh that's the move i do the most okay it's a snatch back um it's kind of hard to show you in the wreck or i mean in the gator facility because it's like you get so none no stamina at all for some reason um but that's also how you would do like the little james harden step back like this the little big step back where you just flick down the right stick you get that big little travel step back that james harden does um but that's it that's really all the drip moves very simple very very simple okay if you want to advance triple tutorial i show a hand cam and show you all my combos exactly what i do um i don't do too much bro I try to keep it very simple. I try to keep it very basic with what I do. And um, yeah, I just try to attack the rim. I try to get open shots. I try to fade. If there's an open three, I'm pretty good at noticing it and just knocking it down. It should not be too hard. All right, for y'all boys to just come in the Gator facility, practice your moves, or I'd recommend going into a micro game, honestly, because the Gator facility fucking blows. Um, but yeah, it's very simple. All right, drop a like on this video if you haven't. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see y'all boys in the next video. Comment also if you're new sub. I love y'all, bro. Seriously, comment. I want to be able to respond. I appreciate y'all. If y'all are going to show support consistently and you actually care about me, drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. I love y'all boys. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.